greatest time thought I would film the process. I used to do these videos all the time back in the day and I usually have an easier transition, I feel like, but my collection has grown. I feel like this last year I really tried out a lot of new products and stuff. So this is gonna be a little bit more of a challenging and time consuming declutter, but coming into the fall and winter, my go-to like everyday makeup things are different less cream products and different colors and stuff so i have the clear cube which i've had forever in this cabinet here and that's kind of my overflow so when i change my stuff out like all the stuff i'm not using currently goes in there and then the one that i have here which i'm going to show you i found mine at home goods but you i can link it to you it's on amazon too is like my main everyday favorites go to so i want to switch switcheroo i also feel like i need to purge some stuff that i just don't reach for anymore that i have found better of and so i thought i would take you along on the process let me give you a look at the situation right now so this is the problem i can't function like this i like a clean space i can't even close some of the drawers so this is what we're dealing with I'm gonna start by decluttering my clear cube drawers because that's the overflow that all of the stuff I am keeping is gonna go into. So I'm gonna go drawer by drawer. I'm gonna tell you the products that I'm tossing, the ones that I'm keeping, and so on and so forth. So this drawer in my clear cube is all of my travel goodies, the little smaller size versions of the things that I travel little sample point perks I get from Sephora that I want to try out. Um, so I have my dry shampoos, which will stay there, a little travel nail file, my translucent powder, my gimme brow, which I really don't use this anymore because I use this and then I just take a little container. So we're going to toss that. It kind of gets goopy. Some of the stuff I've had in here for so long that I know it can't be good anymore. This little powder, this was like a Luminous Light finishing powder. I'll keep that. This Fido replenishing oil, don't really reach for a Chanel water cream, I'm not gonna use. Glam Glow, um, I use this for pimple spots or masks when I'm traveling. Psycho Pair. I haven't used this product in a really long time. It used to be my favorite, favorite, one of my favorites. This, I actually have two little travel sizes, but look, this one's almost already gone. I love how this smells, but I don't really have the redness in my skin that I once did and the reason I was so obsessed and addicted to this stuff. So I'm actually going to get rid of both of these because I just don't, it doesn't even look like it's good anymore. It has some film on top. Another little gimme brow. Okay, the honey potion masks and the honey halo. These are great from Pharmacy. Keeping that. I have this little travel toothbrush, but I don't use it for my teeth. I use it to clean my rings sometimes, so we'll keep that. What's this? A travel lash thing that's probably old. A glam glow that's old. A retinol youth serum from Murad will keep. Pharmacy products, Honeymoon Glow and Filling Good, travel sizes, keeping. This is a powder from Becca. They're not even a company anymore. I have Travel Beauty Blender Solid Cleansers, which we love. Another pharmacy um, gel cream. I actually don't love this. It's more so for like oily combination skin. So we're gonna get rid of that. A texture spray from Amika that I never reach for. Face mask, don't reach for. The thing is, I used to keep everything, you guys. Like, this is a stress away roll on, but I have all my oils. I used to keep everything. And then I realized quickly that it just does nothing but take up space. I'm just cleaning the bottom of this. 
And if I'm not gonna use it, why am I keeping it? New lash and new brow. I don't use the brow one. Lord knows I don't need help in that department. But the new lash, the little travel size, I do love. So we're gonna keep that. And I have in here a little Band-Aid. So look at that. <clears throat> Three empty slots for travel size and I only kept the products that I love. So one drawer down there. I have purged this recently and it's in a good spot right now, but I still could do better than this. I have a whole bunch of these eyeliners from Estee Lauder that they don't even make anymore. This one, the Burgundy Suede. But yeah, I don't, and this one from MAC Raven, and this Topaz from Stila for the waterline. But I truthfully don't even use eyeliner anymore. I mean, I use eyeliner, but I only use like the Charlotte Tilbury, like burgundy brown one. This is Mystery from MAC, such an old one. This is a freckle pen. I use these in the summer sometimes. This was from Beauty Blender. It's like one of those things to help make a wing. So I kept that in here. Okay, <clears throat> single shadows. This one's ripened. It's a powder kiss. NARS Cairo. I don't think this is a real color. I don't think they make this one. These two I'm keeping. Um, Clinique Black Honey and this one from Urban Decay Rundown. These are just single shadows. I have pencil sharpeners. Okay, I have some lippies in here. This one I can pretty much do like a product empty because I literally just bought a brand new one. Tom Ford. This amazing sparkle balm. Look at that. So, yeah. I won't trash this one. This will be a product empties. Keeping. I'm not crazy about this one. This was a Tom Ford one too. I've used a good amount of it. And I do want to use it up because it's less expensive. Too Faced Lip Injection. This is a lip liner color that I will not wear. I don't know why I'm keeping it. And then all I have left in here is just some lip liners. And a Tom Ford gloss. More glosses. These are old. These are from two years ago. Pumpkin Spice. Buxom. Still like them though. This is a pink that I don't, I don't even wear pink, but I do love the packaging on the Kardashian colors. A Givenchy color, I don't. This was such a gimmicky waste. These colors are old. I purely kept this one for the packaging from MAC. It's a nude, it's a pretty color, but I mean, I literally just keep it for the packaging. And this is a good red from Armani for the holidays. So, too much in the drawer. I have a bunch of these from when I've had like chemical peels or like skin ointments. I'm going to keep one. They're all sunscreen. Always good to have enough sunscreen. This Origins Ginseng, I have not used this in a really long time. And it's, yeah, it's gone bad. Ugh. And then the Vitazing. I just haven't used these in a lot. In a while, I love how this smells because <clears throat> I just have fallen so hard for the IntelliShade, which on that note, I'm gonna move my IntelliShade over to this. I have a matte, I have a matte and the like glowy one. I'm gonna put the glowy one here because I just used the matte. This is a Murad primer, which I'm almost out of. I'm not big on primers. I really don't use them. Um, I don't even have the top for this one. Let me see. This one I really liked because it had SPF in it. So I think we're gonna just use this up. And then this is another really good sunscreen from You Beauty that I will keep and use. Okay? Oh, that's all. That's there. Bottom drawer. 
have like some loose blushes and highlights. So for starters, Dior Amber Diamond, I will never part with. This is one of the OGs. Same with MAC Modern Mercury. This was a dupe for my favorite, which is, or no, this is MAC Superb, which is a dupe for Modern Mercury. <clears throat> Mary Luminizer, I used a good chunk of this, but I don't really use these like champagne highlights anymore. Um, Bronze Goddess, this is Modern Mercury, my favorite highlighter ever. These glow drops, I won't use. This is really cool, nothing that. This is one of those um, color changing blushes. You guys remember this? This is an iconic highlight palette. If you know, you know. Blushes, Love Glow, one of my faves but I use it more in the summer. Same with Ecstasy. <clears throat> NARS Amore. This is just too pink. I just have come to the conclusion that pinks just don't look good on me. This is a Buxom blush, a good one for the fall. I'll keep that. Black Honey blush. We'll keep this for the fall. And then this one is another Buxom in Dolly. It's just too pink, so won't be keeping. That is the end of my contents of my clear cube so now let's get warm in here let's get into my current makeup situation okay so i have a bronzer drawer here so the Too faced bronzer i don't love this but i am dedicated to using this up i don't have much more to go it's the chocolate bronzer it's not bad but we will be keeping that maxo ceylon also hit pan i did order a new bronzer palette from the sephora sale so, but I will not touch that until I get through these. One I'm gonna get rid of, Cover FX. Um, I don't really reach for it. It has a bronzer and a shimmery side and not a big gloss. There's a NARS blush in Madly, classic. So I'm just gonna put everything in this bin in this drawer because I'm gonna clean these drawers out. And then the Climax, which is a Charlotte Tilbury. This has been my go-to as of recently. Charlotte Tilbury powder bronzer. Love it. And another Charlotte Tilbury blush in Sex on Fire, which is a good one for the fall. Put the spoolie in here. So we're going to clean this. Windex it. That's cleared out. Okay. This top drawer. I have my Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer, which I love. The Milani Pure Passions eyeshadow palette, amazing. Pure primer from e.l.f., love it. Don't love the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. Don't love this Cover FX. This is a cloud water cloud primer. It also has blue light defense in it. I just don't feel like this really does anything for my skin as a primer, so bye. Another drawer, good. <clears throat> okay, over here, we have one of my favorite cream palette from Tarte. Manish Aurora eyeshadow or um, blush compact and I have Gingerly in there, which is one of my favorites. Instant Chic Blush from MAC Forever, my favorite MAC blush. They don't make it anymore. Love this color. This is about as pink as I'll go when it comes to blush. This is NARS Deep Glow. This is a cream blush, which I'm gonna keep in this drawer because although it's cream, I still like using cream products through the fall and winter. The color of this is really good for this time of year. The shade is called Bali, Bali. And then I was using this as a blush. It's actually an eyeshadow called A Little Tamed, but it's a great summer color. So we'll move that over. Another drawer empty. Okay, we're getting into basically my cream drawer. Voila. So, this beauty blender, bronzer, I, it's kind of moussey. I really haven't reached for this much this summer, which is a sign that I'm probably not gonna reach for it. So we're gonna get rid of that. I have a pimple patch stuck to me. <laughs> a cream bronzer that I love. This is the Cover FX Drops in Candlelight. I mix these in with my bronzers and then also Sunlight. 
These are great for the summer. My favorite cream blushes. This is Love by Rare Beauty. This, I think we can call it. This was also a cream bronzer from Cover FX. I actually don't think that they make this anymore, but this looks like it's seen better days. Cream stick. I just don't, it's a little too pink for me from, I'm gonna probably use up the rest of this bronzer that with my Murad primer. But then this highlight wand, I just, I'm not crazy about these. I don't love the packaging. Cream blushes in NARS Orgasm and Torrid. This is a great color for the summer. Ilia, this is a good color cream blush. I do love that. This is a cream blush from Beauty Blender, which is like a poppy coral. Same with this e.l.f. one, another e.l.f. one. I have a lot of these. This is Turks and Caicos. And then also I have Tahiti. We will put those away for the summer. And then I have my Benefit. Um, yes, I love these colors. This is the Play Tint, which is a coral. And then the Love Tint, which is like fire. It's so fun. And then actually use this one today. This is just the original. Just gives you like a nice flush. So we will keep these. And then I use these as my cream bronzers, 146 and 147.5 Maybelline. They're actually concealers, but you can use them as bronzer. This is a deep drawer, cleared out. stains they don't budge okay <clears throat> we're making progress guys charlotte tilbury favorite palette eyeshadow primer another liner that i don't use mac naked pigment will forever be in my collection this is another eyeshadow primer from mally which i used to use when i had eyelash extensions and i just i like the other one better cream glitter Favorite eyeliner. I have some mascaras. I gotta use the go through these. My Dior shadows in this burgundy and copper velvet. These are all my loose shadows. And then I have a whole bunch of these cream bases from Charlotte Tilbury. And This is an old pigment base from Tom Ford that they don't even make anymore, so we're gonna get rid of that. I don't know, I bought this from Tom Ford and I never actually reached for it. It's a shimmery bronze and then it has this like gold topper, but I don't love that, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Natasha Denona, love. Some Urban Decay shadows, more Hourglass, another pencil sharpener, my favorite eyeliners. This is one of those dual ended, don't use it anymore. This is a great Maybelline like shadow stick, but it's a good summery color. Keep this. Cream. These are like those Stila glitters. These I think have gone, yeah. Like, I still like these, but I'll probably need to get a new one next summer because they just look like they're real dried out. <clears throat> Smashbox Cream Shadow in Rose. I still like that. Mauvey Color. And then just more some more MAC loose shadows. I actually don't really, haven't really reached for this one from MAC. This is too dark for my eyes. Dreamy Beams. I think I got this at a CCO. Space Cowboy. Finjan, which is a fun one. Shantakai. 
on, keep that. Mac Girly, this is like pink. I'm wearing that on my eyes. Tan pigment, love this I got from the CCO2 Stairs to the Stars. It's a really cool, like magnetic shadow. Boom. Okay, getting down to it. I have a lot of lip products here. All of these I recently just got from HSN. These came in a pack. And this is literally like the only lip stuff I wear anymore. So we will be keeping all of them. Lip oil, Charlotte Tilbury. Ooh, I had a follower recommend this to me and I bought it and I don't love it. It's a very expensive gloss from Givenchy. I just, I don't know. I've worn it a couple times. Look at it, it's like black, but on the lips, it's like, it's kind of weird. So get rid of that. This is a lip balm that I got in Epcot. I love the packaging of this. Do they still make this from Buxom? These big sticks, you can use them on your lips. Clinique Black Honey, another liner. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Revlon, Rum Raisin, Meh. These Ever Smooth, this is good for the summer. Tom Ford, again, another pink I'm just not gonna wear. No matter how cute the packaging is. Full size, oh yeah, this is Blush Nude, one of the very best nudes out there. MAC down to an art. Oh, I do love this color. I have a couple MAC shades here. This one is like a purpley berry, great for fall. We'll keep that. Kind of sexy is my favorite and brave. I don't know, I'm just not a big lipstick gal anymore. Faux. So I don't have a large lipstick collection anymore. Kind of sexy is like one of my favorites. So good. Okay, some lip oils here from Elia. Probably gonna keep this one and toss the other two. The colors are just not. This one I used a lot of Only You. Just like a nudie pink. I do like this one for the summertime. We'll keep that one. Revlon. Okay. And then Chanel Mademoiselle Classic. Go. Last drawer. Foundations. MAC Studio Fix Powder. I'm just using this up at this point, but I will replace it. Ilya, I haven't worn this all summer. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, that smells. It's no good anymore. A lot of these, like, I like them, but I'm not gonna wear them until probably next spring or summer, so I will definitely need to replace them because they're not gonna be good by then. Mani, I'm wearing this today. Well rested, my concealer, corrector, NARS. I don't really, I bought this because I saw it go viral on TikTok. It's like an oil absorber, I don't use it. I don't really reach for liquid concealers anymore because I love my Bare Minerals Powder Concealer. We'll keep these two and use them because they're pricey. A blush in here, Pillow Talk, one of my favorites. Cream Compact. I will put this away until next summer. I literally just started using this. And this is, yeah, I mean, Psycho Pear. I don't use this anymore, so we'll toss that. Last drawer. Complete. So I'm gonna go clean these drawers and I'll be I went downstairs and I like wiped out and cleaned all my drawers and I ended up moving my stuff over that I wanted to do. So let me show you where we're at. So this is going in my clear cube. So this is a lot of my summer stuff and stuff that I just don't use like day to day but don't wanna get rid of because I like to have. A lot of cream shadows, powder shadows, like a lot of shimmery, glittery ones that I wear in the summer. And then the lip products that are more like summer color, summer tone, lipsticks, lip oils that I 
typically don't wear in the fall and winter. Next drawer is all of my sunscreens, SPFs, and foundations that I'll wear in the summer. A lot of these foundations have SPF in them, so, and like this Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter I don't do in the winter. The tinted sunscreens, my CC creams, the Rescue Complete, anything with sunscreen is in here. Any overflow, I'm so in love with this professional from Benefit that I have completely kicked Urban Decay to the curb, but it's a great product. I won't get rid of it. And then the bottom, which is the deepest, has all of my cream bronzers and cream blushes and some powder, but like mostly it's just cream that I, and, and the colors are also very spring, summer oriented and colors that I just won't wear in the fall. So that is this drawer all nice and neatly organized. Okay, and then moving over to my current situation, I might end up rearranging these drawers, but I wanted to keep it minimal here and just really use this on my vanity for like the products that I use and reach for day to day. In here, I just have my Charlotte bronzer and my Too Faced and my So Ceylon and then one cream bronzer because I do still like to use a cream bronzer underneath powder. So that is one drawer. My blush drawer, I have three of my Charlotte Tilbury blushes, the one cream blush from e.l.f., ginger from MAC, and or gingerly, and blush baby, which is a pretty full shade. Two drawers here dedicated to my eyes. One is mascaras, liners, only three of them, and a pencil sharpener. And then I only have two cream shadows in here, one is Walk of No Shame, strictly for the color of it. It's a good fall color. Natasha Denona Top Coat, which is a like a bronzy shimmer that I've been wearing lately, but this truly could go there, but I'm just gonna keep it here. But the, and the goal here is if I'm not reaching for stuff in these drawers, they'll go into the clear cube. And if I'm reaching into the clear cube for things more often, then I'll move those back into this. And in here, I just have my shadows. So my two shadow palettes that I use in the fall, two, single shadows, Finjan and Devoted to Chili, which are great fall colors, and then my two Dior single shadows. And again, if I'm not finding myself reaching for some of those single shadows, I'll move them over. And if I'm going in there constantly, then I'll put that back. My lip drawer is a big one, so I moved it to my deep. Mostly it's all my Tarte lip plumpers, Black Cherry are from Clinique, Black Honey rather, and then my lip colors, sticks that are fall colors. And then my foundation drawer is only two foundations, which are Giorgio Armani and NARS Light Reflecting. My Laura Mercier Translucent Powder I use every day. My MAC Studio Fix Press Powder, I'm just gonna use this up. Pore Primer from e.l.f., my Corrector from Tarte. Two liquid concealers, which honestly, I just wanna use up at this point. And then my powder concealer and my powder Well Rested. The bottom drawer, you can see how much space I have in here. And this is literally just a hodgepodge of products that I, I'm on the fence about. And I do the same thing in my closet. I move clothes to the front to kind of signal me to reach for them. So I have products in here that I have a little bit left that I wanna use up or products that I'm like, mm, I don't know if I wanna completely get rid of it or keep it in my collection. So the bottom drawer, I will make it my goal, just like I do in my closet. Like they're here, they're in my face, reach for them. If I'm still not reaching for these products to, to put on or to wear, I get rid of it. So that's like my little test. But a lot of these are just products that I just want to finish using up. So that is that. Let me show you my sink, which has all of my trash, all of the stuff I'm getting rid of feels so good. And then let me show you the top of my vanity. I forgot to show you guys all the palettes that I saved. They're on top of my clear cube in the cabinet. And some of these are such a throwback. I just can't part with them. Tarina Tarantino palette. Remember how pretty this was? I still use this palette. It's so good. MAC Spice Chocolate. And then the Coffee Cat, this was one of those drugstore like treasure hunts years ago, still use. My MAC Flame Palette, I've actually been using this quite a lot recently. These are all of my single loose shadows. I actually purged a lot of them recently and just kept, because I had a lot of cool tone shadows 
which don't look good on me. So I kept all the warm tones and then some of the blues I like for accents. The Buxom Russian palette. Still have Modern Renaissance, one of my faves. Great for fall. I have this one, I don't reach for it as much anymore, but you can see how well loved it is. This was the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty. So, oh, and then the Lorac Pro Contour Palette, which I honestly don't really reach for this one very much either. I think I'm actually gonna get rid of this one because I like the yellow, but I have Well Rested for under the eyes and these bronzers are kind of cool tone. So yeah, this will probably go in the trash, but those are the only palettes I saw. Okay. I usually have this guy sitting here. That's how I film a lot. But in here, I have all of my most used everyday skincare. I need to use this up, my eyebrow. There's just no, this is huge. There's no way to make it cute and fit in here. Right now I'm about to clean all of my brushes. Toner, retinol, AHA, moisture, eye serum, serum, vitamin C, hyaluronic acids, eye cream, my cellar water, my green tea toner, another face oil, keeping it minimal up here. And then in here, <laughs> in here I have an overflow. All of my beauty sponges, my face fan, and my face roller. Do you, these are like my everyday deodorants, face spray, sunscreen, under eye scrunchies. These are all my tools like pimple poppers, zit stuff, tweezers, eyelash things, you know. Dental stuff is in here and a nail clipper, which goes there. And then this is my skincare. So this is a moisturizer, exfoliator, hand lotion. I have a couple lip balms. This is an overnight balm for hydration. The, I have a couple new eye products I'm trying my cleanse off and then this is my daytime moisturizer it feels so good it's always a dreaded task but afterwards it feels so amazing i hope it inspired you to get into your vanities and clear out purge feels really really good i'll link you my clear cube my little this isn't the official clear cube i don't even know if they make the clear cube anymore but the clear acrylic drawers and like displays that I have I'll link in the description box but